We're at Watford Football Club's training ground tonight. This is our Ramadan tournament, celebrating with a lot of community groups that have come here tonight to play football. This is brilliant. I can see that all communities are enjoying individuals, no matter what age they are, not what race, what religion they belong to. But here, football uniting them. It's so absolutely fantastic to have so many people from across our single community across Watford from different faiths and backgrounds to take part in this first Ramadan football tournament. Being out here now, it's just gone midnight. Everyone is so excited and energised to be out on the pitch. Uh, it's so nice to be able to do this as we start to come out of lockdown. But most importantly, it's about bringing people together to have one goal, if you forgive the pun, to bring one community together to make a difference. So thank you to everyone involved, One Vision, Watford Football Club and all the teams behind the scenes who've made this happen tonight. So thank you. I'm really pleased to be here this evening to, at the Ramadan Cup which is a great collaboration between Harpshire FA and Watford Football Club, enabling the communities to come and play some football this evening. It's great to see the, the partnership working from Watford Football Club and Watford Football Club Trust as well, and actually bringing communities together and actually helping to organise these kind of events. We've worked with uh, different communities, the Muslim community, but also other communities, because uh, sport is one of these things that actually breaks down barriers and brings people together. Things like food, sport, those are the kind of things that are the ingredients that we need uh, to actually bring communities together and to be part of uh, the whole uh, society that we live in. I take a part in a programme called Man On. It's basically where we go down, play football for an hour each and every week, have a conversation afterwards. We're here as part of, like to play competitive matches. It's quite a big test for us because we've only played like little games with each other. It's been really enjoyable, like loads of people here. Really good fun, really difficult matches, but I think we enjoyed them. I think it's good for the community because it brings a lot of teams together. I think it's a big part of what what we do, uh, like as a family club. Yeah, it's um, something different to do on a Saturday night. Getting the community to participate in uh, something which is sort of cultural building as well, and people understanding and they see the the flyer and you know to be honest I, I see it's there's a mixture of guys here it's not just the Muslims who are fasting I, you know, I, I see there's, there's a mixture of different cultures and communities here and there's there's a good sort of interaction and talking to everyone so I, I thought it was a good idea you know even you know, I know some of the referees here because I play the, I play with them and elsewhere and um, they're asking why, why was it so late and then you explain to them well you know, is what, what Ramadan is and why the fast is opening so late, that's why we're turning up a bit later. It's sort of education as well at the same time of, you know, why the tournament was done in the first place. And, and hats off, it was a tournament that was organised and it was free. And I, th I think in general the, uh, the tournament's been a great success um, in terms of the community and I th we've both thoroughly enjoyed ourselves and so I know our whole team has as well. Watford FC have always been a fantastic organisation and, and, and football club in terms of trying to really reach out to communities and groups of all sorts to really help and support, uh, but also trying to involve as many people in the game as well. Um, and it's been great to see. It's been a pleasure to be part of it. So many different types of communities and groups together, playing together after what's been a challenging period of time. Such events really make you also feel how important it is in terms of community work, in terms of working together, in terms of really engaging the youth in the right sort of way as well. It's nearly 2am, fantastic event, the feedback has been brilliant. Lots of different community groups coming together um, for football and also to celebrate Ramadan. For us as a football club, we're keen to support the local community groups. That's a huge part of our legacy as we move forward. We were inundated with teams wanting to take part, which just showcases that there's a real demand for, the, for this sort of tournament. Um, and that's, that's just brilliant. So hopefully the first of many more to come.